in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, match number 20. Everybody moving during the sandstorm period. They've all crossed the half line. So 15 points all around. A hatch panel being put in place in that rear rocket ship by Wavelength for red. So early advantage going to the Red Alliance, about three points. We enter into teleoperator mode. The sandstorm has abated. The screen is lifted. Drivers have full visibility of the playing field. Cargo being put into the cargo ship by the Red Alliance. Now one being put in as well by Blue. The RoboCats doing it for the Blue Alliance. Sakura Temp Tempest stop, working on the blue rocket ship up in the front of the field, and they place a hatch panel. Two hatch panels on that blue rocket ship in front. We've got four hatch panels on this rocket ship in the back for red, though, with plenty of time remaining in the match. Ten point advantage goes to red. Five of the six cargo balls put into that cargo ship over in the main section. Over on the side, there's one as well. For blue, they don't have quite as many cargo balls, only four in their rocket ship, or in their cargo ship. About three quarters of a minute to go. Advantage red. And now we've got some cargo being scored into that rear red rocket ship. Four, car four hatch panels, a couple of cargo balls, four red in that rear rocket ship. We go down to the end game. About 25 seconds remaining, another cargo being placed in the rocket ship for red. And now we got some robots working their way over to the halves. All three blue ones over there. Two of the three red robots over on their half. Ten seconds remaining. We've got one at level three, another one at level one, the third one at working on level one with three seconds. Two over on the blue side, all three up. We've got a level three. All right, we've got a score coming up. And it's the Red Alliance taking match number 20, score 75 to 57. It's going to be three ranking points going to the red teams. Two for the win, one for the half climb.